Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and in this video we are going to do the legendary solo run through of the Cunning. As usual, we're going to be running no exotics, just a pretty standard loadout. I've got a sniper, there's a ton of options up here. As I've told you guys, Arbalist was a great one for me. If you're jamming on like Osteostriga and the Glaive, you can have some fun with that too. I just got done doing that on my Warlock as practice. So you got a lot of different options, but I'm doing like the basic of basic loadouts. A sniper rifle that you're comfortable with. Something in your energy slot for Void is going to be most of your shields. You're going to have some solar. Ascendancy covers the few that you've got. You've also got a few arc. If you really want to have a backup option, bring that with you. If you want to mess around with things like Graviton Lance, this is, again, like a very fun weapon to use right now with the boost on exotics. For miners, you can really clear out adds pretty quickly. But for me, just going to do the basic loadout, no exotics. But honestly, if you're running the new invis, Graviton Forfeit, probably perfect for that. So let's jump inside and get this one going. Power recommended is 1440, so your gear score only has to be 1425 on this one. All right, so when you jump in, biggest thing that you're going to be doing is you got a pretty decent journey on this one. Um, and the big thing to know is just use cover. This mission, you're going to be kind of covering a lot of ground with some puzzles, which I'll explain. They're usually not too bad. It's just knowing where to look more than anything. But the big thing to know when you get later on in the mission, whether you just want to be like, okay, what's he going to tell me to do? Use cover and be mobile. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, but make sure you've got cover options. Kind of pay attention to where they're at. And then the other option, of course, is going to be just when it comes to using the cover is just knowing that some enemies are going to be coming up on you pretty quick. So it's just like try and have an exit plan, basically. Have an exit strategy. Stay alert, Guardian. We can't miss this one. When you pop in here, nothing too crazy is going to happen here. you got some early ads, nothing major. Pull to the back room, so you've got some room to work. As I said, it's going to be a lot of scorn. No, like, crazy enemies in here. There's not going to be a lot of, like, Lucent Hive or anything like that. But you got a lot of these guys. Watch your cover back in the corner. I did mess with uh, Elemental Wells, so technically I guess I'm not doing this in the most basic of loadouts. Honestly, just give me a smidge of weapon damage. I'm probably going to pick up, like, three wells, so it's not the end of the world. So that is one of the early arc shields that you're going to have back here. Still should be able to manage it without, but just letting you guys know so I can point them out for you. Watch the scouts. They really do hurt quite a bit. That dude's kind of, like, glitched on geometry. There he goes. And again, if you are trying to break a shield, even though you're not matching it, use that energy weapon. It's always going to work better than a kinetic for breaking a shield, just because that's kind of the nature of how those work. Then when you break the shield, you should be good. Couple quick shots. That one's just more about patience than anything. Make sure you're reloaded on everything and go in the portal. The scorn are even more entrenched now again, this is one with my loadout and as I've explained to you guys, I played a lot of this at range. If you're gonna go in with like an SMG and the Glaive, for example, you're gonna be a little more aggressive. So classes like Titans with overload shields, uh, Warlocks where you guys are gonna have the option of uh, devour those are gonna help you for the tight for the hunter and invisibility Range is gonna be a benefit you can do this on all three classes and this is literally the last class I'm running it on so I've done it on all of them I'm just doing this one last because I would say it's the least like easy health options that you're gonna have You got a couple of these raiders up here. They are gonna be a little frustrating So use some range and some cover for a little while try and clear out the raiders first But also notice these guys are coming up. So be ready and if you really need to pull back out of the range, pull up here, and then you can work them from a little farther away. Just don't feel like you have to push up most of this, except kind of the final room, and you've still got a lot of space. You can hit a lot of this from very far away and get some work done. Obviously, if that's up there, you got to clear it before you do anything about it. So yeah, a little slow patience here. There are a couple chieftains behind this guy that are put also putting in some work. There we go. So we got him dead. Nice. All right, so as I said, back here, you're going to have some void chieftains. So again, the void already coming into play. Arc will be later, but this is where your void will get you started. Once you've got that off, the shield off, then you can put some damage chunks in. There we go. Hey, yeah, Prime works. Now, I'm doing this over 1,500, but it doesn't matter. Remember, your effective power level is kind of curtailed no matter what you do. Watch for the invulnerability totem there. 
Try and hit these guys as they come up to you. If you can hit those little canisters in their hand, they're really not going to get a chance to do too much. And if nothing else, just break that guy's shield every so often, he will go down. Now, coming up, you're going to have a few more adds down here in the bottom. Also got a couple abominations, so stay back. Use cover. And again, just be careful here. Kind of put a chunk in him if you can slow him down a little bit. I'm going to just throw that in there in case I can actually slow him down a little bit. Biggest thing, just try and, and when you get this guy a little lower on health, be careful. And if you get a retreat, pull back a little bit so these guys don't come smacking you around. And then you can really line up the shots on the barrels pretty easily. So just hang back, let them all come. You also got a couple of wraiths coming. Just be careful about those. Those guys do take a little bit of damage, so be careful as they come charging. And again, that other abomination did actually pull forward. These guys will try and find some way to get to you. They'll eventually get there. So just play Ring Around the Rosie. Try and stay out of a good level that they're in. And again, kind of move around. Like this, he's never going to get up here. If he does jump up here, I would be thoroughly surprised. He's not entirely sure. Usually they, you'll know you're in a piece of cover that they can't really get to if they don't actually come after you. Apparently I'm just terrible at shooting my bow occasionally. And of course, never fin forget those finisher moves. All right. I got rockets here, so I'm going to put rockets into this abomination. I'll take the ammo pickup. Thanks. And then at this point, hopefully I can get some uh, sniper damage and finish him up. If he feels like showing himself, that is. And again, if he's not in a good position, don't get too aggressive. Because those shots from their hands hurt quite a bit. Once both abominations are down, you should be good. But again, staying back, taking it slow, that's the biggest thing. And as you, if you're looking for ranks for Finch, I'm going to have a video coming out on that as well because you kind of got two steps to work on for those. So if you're working on ranks for Finch, hit that subscribe button. I will help you guys out with that very soon. So Savathun built a mausoleum for her younger self, then abandoned it. Really, like, take a chance and listen to all the dialogue as you go through these missions. They really do... Kind of dig deep on Savathun, the lore, the hive, what's going on. I'm very excited to see where they go with the story. Alright, so you got a nice little reveal. Pretty straightforward on this one. All you gotta do is shoot each of the runes. And there's five runes. Remember the number five, because that's how many you're gonna look for. Typically. Once those steps are done, you're gonna be headed forward. And we got a couple of these little rune puzzles to do, but nothing too terrible. Use them against the witness. I highly doubt Savathun would gamble her through Alright, so now you did the first one, now I've got the second ones. So follow the order that I show you guys. Once you reveal it, kind of go in this circle. You're gonna go left, jump back a little bit, look up, turn to your left over here, look underneath, and then keep heading around the corner and you'll have the last one over here. So your entrance to the room is up here, looking forward. You've got one two, three, four, and then tucked around the corner would be number five right here. So it's really not too bad. Just take a second, get familiar, look for the little white marks, and you should be good. Once those are down, we can push forward. Next section. And you'll do those runes much later on, but that just kind of gives you a preview of them. Now this room, you got to do a little clearing to get out the back side. You're going to have a lot of Screeb, so guess what? Hang out up here, and you can kill the Screeb from a little more range. Watch for the uh, lurkers. Watch for the snipes in the back. The screams, though, if you can take those out. Don't have to worry about your feet exploding. Would be best. The raiders will hurt, so watch for those. Looks like we have our other art guy. Again, there's like two or three of these things. So to me, it's not really worth switching out to like an arc bow, but if you really prefer to, that's fine. These corrupted raiders, though... Really painful when they start launching these things, so make those a focus. But if you hear that noise that a Screeb is coming, back off, get mobile, get up in the air, get airborne, do whatever you gotta do, basically. The range on those shots. All 
There we go. Got a couple stragglers. Listen for the cues. There we go. Watch your cover. Watch your angles. These guys are annoying. So if you're working on that guy, that's one of those where if you just like, I'm doing okay on ammo. I just want to like delete a guy. Use the rocket. It's what it's for. You're going to get ammo later on. It's not the end of the world. One more corrupted raider. Somewhere. Can't quite hit my shots. Why? I will say the aim assist on the bow is noticeable sometimes. Oh, you know, a couple missed terrible shots just to show you guys I'm very much an imperfect player as well. But hopefully that shows you if I can suck that bad, hopefully you guys can do it. Alright, make sure you got things reloaded. Take a second and just take in the so, scale of this temple place. To it's herself. massive. This is the Temple Savathun it's... dedicated to Sephora. Sephora? Basically her before she was Savathun. Here, Titan, watch that fall. And then stay back here and cl start clearing the ads. Now that's going to be your solar, guys. This is where if you got the uh, rockets, you're going to be in a good place to try and really launch those back there. Now I didn't get the full on kill because I think they dodged. So I'm going to try and get a little closer just for a bit more direct contact. If you got any ads hanging out up here, now's a good time to check. Fire spinners kind of suck. When they get you, that is. If you ever want to like try and make sure you're gonna have a decent shot, hmm, <laughs> he dodged my rocket. Sneaky guy. What you want to do is kind of like ADS them or maybe like hit them, try and get them to jump a little bit. And then when they jump once, they typically won't jump again. And again, that's not a like all the time thing, but if you get them to kind of jump or do a big dodge, they typically have at least a mini cooldown until they get to do that again, so. I was probably a little close to a rocket, but we survived it, so I'm just gonna take the W. There's no way to lower the bridge from here. There has to be. Alright, so from here, these things, I don't know if they're gonna kill you. Later on, you'll see that they won't completely kill you, but in previous things, they will kill you, so just don't touch those. What you need to do is come over here to the left. And my advice is you're gonna get the reveal, and you're gonna jump over to this rock, and you should be able to hit all five. So you got one, two, Three back there, four underneath, and five up top. Gonna expose some platforms, got a nice floating arrow. There's no shadow, so just try and like, you know, look down to see what you're landing on, or there's no lighting, I should say, on the shadow ground. Land here, this one isn't as bad. If you die and you come back to this platform, your deep sight, if, it, if these platforms are still there, it's from your previous deep sight. And I have died here before, it's not a big deal, just tends to happen. If that happens, know your deep sight's probably about to expire, so don't think you're, like, totally safe. Now, we're about to get some big boys, so just be careful. And the big one's that guy. So watch for the raider. He's gonna hurt a little bit. I'm gonna throw a bomb on him. Okay. He's gonna be a little big. That actually worked. Finish him up. I've done that much poorer previously, so I got a little take the big rocket W. And big grenade down in the middle probably works well for these guys. Especially as the new one actually has that pull. Now, told you guys you almost die. So I wouldn't actually do what I just did up there. If you peek up, be careful. Because then no, you got more raiders. And those snipes, if they tag you maybe one or two at the same time, it can go over pretty quickly. So the raiders hurt. So clear those, really look for them. See if you got any stragglers down below. But it's the snipers that sting so bad on this one. They've caught me just really quickly out of, out of position and just off guard. And I've had some very quick deaths in here. It just straight up happens. Now again, we've got an arc shield. Arbalist, of course, was pretty amazing work when I ran through this previously. He's back there. Also check for any more raiders. Might have a couple stragglers. There we go. That should be most of them. I am getting a decent amount of heavy ammo drops, so if you got scavengers and ammo finders, make sure you got those equipped, so I can be a little more liberal on the heavy. Big guys typically tucked back here.
And there's two of them, so now's probably a decent place to go super. And again, depending on your super, Nova Bomb would take care of them. Go into Titan Shield, whatever you're going to do. Use the super, but I will be happy to say the Mobius Quiver. Those two shots are pretty potent now, and if you have uh, Orpheus Rig, you get three shots. And they hit quite hard. I've killed plenty of bosses with them. At least solo. All right, so follow along kind of this path I'm showing you. You got about 30 seconds. It's not too many hard jumps to make. Next one over here, same thing. Get your reveal. One, two, three. Head up just a little bit. Four and five. That should unlock your paths. You got a little better lighting on your jumps this time. I don't know why they feel like they don't want lighting there, but technical lighting is coming from below, so it'd be somewhat shaded on here. Again, now's a good time to check your reload on rockets and things. You're going to have more ads coming up. So look for your scouts first. Any snipes always tend to get some pain going. Now, as a hunter, this one's going to be spicy. So if I die and there's a cut in here, well, you'll know why. But it's not the end of the world if you do die. So don't worry about it too much. This is I don't think this is like respawning restricted. It just gets a little spicy. It's mostly little guys. And then just be ready to kind of dump something big into a big guy. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to stand on this platform to lower both of these bridges. And as you do that, guys are going to come from the left and the right and the left and the right. And pretty much back and forth together. So using grenades and smoke bombs and things like that. And if you got a bail... Get out of there, jump up there, get in cover, and then come back. It's not the end of the world if you don't get all the way through. But if you die, you know, it's a little more annoying. So look for the spawns. Try and kill what you can as you go through. There's going to be quite a few Screebs and Ravagers. The Ravagers are the ones that are going to have the little barrels of explosion. So again, if you can take those things out before they get too close, it's going to be good. Any Screebs, also going to be tough. The Race, thank goodness, are just going to be... Uh, red bars and then just bounce back and forth still looking looks like I got a Screeb a Ravager Screeb's up top that one's on my head and I missed one on the left but as you can tell no big deal even if you do die it's not the end of the world you're just going to start back up here and honestly it's a nice way to clear out the bigger ads that you've got Get a little room to clear out some of the screams, and then they're jumping on my face. That guy just wants to torture me. It's his whole goal in life. And no big deal. You get to stand right here. So again, the death, not as big of a big of a worry. I had a cleaner run on my warlock last time, but no big deal. So the big bridges come down. You're going to use these to leave later on, so just kind of remember that. If you got any ammo or drops you want to pick up, check for those, and we go inside. You got a few raiders, not nearly quite as beefy in health. Honestly, like, the glaive can put in some work. You've got a lot of options. This is going to be a solar guy. Just kind of end his life there quickly. Makes life easier. Now, these are going to be fun. My advice, again, if you've got your super. Cast your super. At least delete one of them with the Nova Bomb. Whatever you prefer to do. But yeah, they're two of those that close. Or your other option, run back down the bridge, use cover, and fight them back here. And then work back up. There's no need to like rush that thing. If both of those spawn and you don't have a super, you don't feel comfortable being this close to those guys... And you, don't, and you got some ranged weapons like I do, pull back and take them from range. It just will take a little longer. No big deal. So here, now we are in Savathun's little shrine, per se. Hit the rally flag. That's your checkpoint. You made it this far. You want to make sure you keep that. We'll get to that later. Our goal is to try and get inside, but that's not going to happen. This is the boss fight. One of, I should say. So here, you're going to have your shield guy first. Now, the boss is going to be painful. He's basically a sniper, almost like a baron. 
And this guy's gonna hurt. So again, this is where staying mobile and for like a hunter, be invisible, throw down a rift, throw down an overshield, do what you gotta do. But you can use this entire space. So guess what? You want some more cover? Come out here. Now there's not great cover this far out. You're a little exposed, but you've got some options. And again, his snipe, so if, like, if he catches you, don't be too far from cover. And try and take out all the adds, like the chieftains and everything, before you really make too much progress on him. Just watch your sides. Like, if you know where he is, you can manage him. But I'm trying to clear out the adds first, because if you get his damage down and you move the adds to the next phase, then it just gets a little crazier. Reload here. I know I've got a chieftain somewhere over there, so I'm trying to clear him so I don't have a straggler chieftain I'm going to deal with later on. Oh, and this guy. Sure, why not? There we go. Boss seems like he's behind me. He's just sitting out there. And this is where a bow can actually help. Just kind of peek a corner back and forth. He usually won't charge all the way. But if you start getting damage, you're also going to start getting more adds, which you can tell. And again, being back here works a decent amount of the time. It's not perfect for cover, because you can tell he gets into the center there. And be ready to turn a corner. So that's why this back area has some benefit, but it's not like the be-all, end-all guarantee of safety. Nothing in this area really is, per se. That's why doing the damage slowly works pretty well, so you can kind of like take the adds in somewhat safe, slower succession. I say somewhat safe with a big giant caveat. I know I basically say that nothing's that safe. This guy's still out here. I really do want him dead, so I don't have to worry about him. Okay, so he's good. I got a rocket, so if I can get him to stand still for a second, that'll get a chunk of damage. Looks like I got some adds coming here. As I said, more void here. Pull that one out. Look for the other adds. Now again, if you feel like you get overrun. Now I get to go invisible as a, as a hunter, but as a Titan, you know, pop an overshield. That wall of overshield for Void 3.0, it's amazing what it can do. Yeah, check and see if you got all the ads, if you got more, save some of your ammo. You'll be able to get more in a minute, but I'll tell you, just sitting here doing this in a consistent, safe way, it's kind of nice. Apparently we're not done. Usually they don't tend to spawn too far off like that, but you might have a couple. If you notice there's one, there's probably a few more that didn't quite make it to you the first time. So be aware. There's a chunk, so be ready. Definitely gonna see some more ads now. And again, if you wanna do a little smoke bomb there to get that coverage on that side, you can. Got a chieftain over here, so get the work in as quick as you can. Boss kind of swung over to this side, so be careful. I did see him. Where's Mr. Boss, man? He juked my rocket. Sad face. Yeah, and if you got one chieftain on your side, you probably got a chieftain on the other, so you might take a peek and see if you can clear those out. The quicker they go down, the less you got to worry about chieftains later on. Nice thing about the void bow. The void bow here is for, like void something here. Graviton lance, like void bow. Void energy weapon in this section is it's basically all void. Kind of a really good idea. Get a quick reload, but again, calm, patience. Just always be strafing if you're dealing with a sniper. Now, he's annoying. That's why it's kind of hard to go with him for the sniper shots. Just because he's a little shifty, too, and he knows it. Looks like a gun and then chiefed it across the way. He's immune, so that makes life rough. Now, if there's a point where you want to ever dump your super... When he's about this low. 
Now, why he went immune like that, that's not really fair. Bad timing, I guess. Check and see if you got any ads to deal with. He is definitely still there. Yeah, I don't know quite why he went immune there. Again, a big whiff with the rocket. I'm just not doing so great on those. Give him a little more range so the dodge is a bit harder. You're worried about a rocket hitting a wall? There we go. He's down. Now, you would think this would be done, but, Ikora, I'm sorry, but be careful. Try and pick up ammo now, because I'm not entirely sure if there's a rally flag, because you are not done. Please don't tell me the Guardian oh, yeah, you got another phase, so nothing. don't worry. Come up here, grab your grab your gear. See if you get anything fun and good. And now we'll reveal we got a couple things to go through. So you got one, of course. Two, three, four. There had to be a trick in it. Where the hell is five? Oh, there it is. Five. I was like, they're all on these pillars. I know they are. Book a little traversal back and forth. One, two, three, four, five. I know that platform's gonna be there and you're gonna go ahead and pick up this little worm guy. Okay, so things changed a little bit. You got an Ahamkara, so get to cover. Now, every so often you can see the, the mouth go orange, and then it's going to go taken. Now, you get to do this in phases. Notice the health bar has chunks to it. To make things like bigger damage from a rocket easier, my advice, like, don't shoot now, because it'll probably go away. When he's shooting one, be ready to go out. So as soon as it goes orange, you can kind of hit it in the throat. Just like that. Because the damage phase is not that long. There you go. You get enough damage, it's going to go down to a third. So pull back, you're going to get some adds. A lot of screams and things to deal with. So pull back, have cover, do what you got to do, whether it be a well, invisibility, and just start picking these guys off from range. Try and get the screams to explode on each other. And really pull back here. The Ahamkar is not going to do anything to you right now, so focus on the scream. Pull back and to one side so you can really get them to funnel to you. That'll kind of help narrow them down. And you'll know when things are good when you actually get to uh, pull back out here. So again, the first phase, don't shoot because it goes straight to Taken. That one should be a nice little chunk. Same thing, as soon as it's firing one side, shift out to the other. Now, I did enough damage, I basically got the abominations to spawn, so now's a good time to pull back. Should probably be at about half health, I think. So just be careful. Look for the abominations, pull back way far. And apparently I've also pulled some screams, so hang back here for a while. Again, here somewhere where, like, if you prefer an SMG, it looks like we got some raiders over here. So you got quite a few adds right now. Pull to the back corner until the adds are down. Don't focus on any damage with the Ahamkar until you feel like you're good on adds. And you can check by kind of passing through the middle. See if there's anything out there. I feel like there's two abominations, but maybe it's just one right now. Maybe it's two abominations next time before we get to finish it up. I'm a little lower on rockets and I'm good on sniper ammo, so I'm going to go snipes. There we go. So that was the only shot I needed to get him down a level. So now we're going to get another set of adds. Mostly screams again, but reload everything you got. If anything big pops out, it's a good time to pop a rocket, kind of like that. Focus on the screams once again. If you got a grenade, if anything gets up too close. And if nothing else, just go full on super. Now, you can shift around the room, just know you might have some big stuff out there. Now, sounds like the Ahamkara came back out. Same principle as before. 
When you know you got no adds up, the easy way to get the damage, wait for it to fire. Peek out behind one of these closer pillars because you don't want the rocket to travel from far away. That's the big thing you don't want to do. I got it twice, so I'm pretty close. I'm going to pull back for cover. I also saw a bigger ad spawn, so I just want to make sure I got room for that. Looks like I got a chieftain up there. That's going to be a solar guy. Good time for that solar rocket. And then I think we got more. Yep, abomination. And then another chieftain. So again, your range on this one's really going to help. Look for the abomination. A couple shots will take care of it. Now, when you finish this mission up, you need to be ready to be on the move. So don't worry about too much ammo or anything of that nature. You'll get everything that you need later on. So usually literally pull the damage to that side, open his mouth, shoot him in the gullet. And then it's going to go to uh, Riven mode, where it's going to have like a taken mouth. And then when it pops back out, be ready to hit it in the mouth again. You're not done. I don't know why it fully backed off. It should pop out again, though. Come on. I don't know why it's being funky. Yeah, you can't get too close as well. So if this happens to you, this could be a little glitch. This seems like it is what happened to me the first time. That little health bar is tiny. I don't know if there's like an ad that's up somewhere that's a straggler. Yep, there is. I can he I Looks like I'm getting shot from somewhere over here. Where is this guy? Yeah, so that's why more glitch, just because the guy is not dead. Alright, so now the tiniest little health bar that remains. You're just going to shoot the Taken. And it is actually an illusion. So now you got to go. you got two and a half minutes. So you got two ads on the left. This is the direction you're going to go. Don't worry about your stuff. It'll go to your Postmaster. Don't worry about it. And you want to run. So clear the guy up top first. So you don't worry about him. Get your reveal on. You got enough time. So I'm going to give you guys a couple points where you can get off in case. There's one especially where I died a couple of times. Because what's going to happen out here is you're going to get one of these heavy pikes. And you're going to drive for a bit. But there are a couple places you can stop. Clear a couple ads. Pop a super just to be safe. So follow here. Don't hit the chandeliers. They will push you. I don't know if they'll kill you. But they definitely could kill you. So... Be careful, try and time the chandeliers, you know, drive where they were, not where they are. The way heavy pipes work, when you dodge, you kind of drop a little mine, so it's kind of a fun way to get through here. But try and hug the middle. Same thing here, a little dodging back and forth. I seem to manage to get through, but here is where I tend to die if I push too hard. So up here, you're going to get quite a few adds. So actually, we'll clear most of these out. Because I've just, like, driven through a little too much chaos before, and it just didn't work so well. Still got a minute nine. You're not too far at this point. Same thing here. If you don't feel great about it, go for a super. I'm trying to get a little health recovery over here in the corner. I really just need to run up here. Don't even worry about the ads. Try not to die, though. Go invisible so I can, and you just got to make it here and go up. Little little hairy there on the hunter, but that's okay. Come in. And again, you still had a little time. If you would much rather kill those ads, you are good. And here are your chest rewards. And you've got the object, right? Otherwise, this was a huge waste of time. We got it. Thanks for the concern, Finch. Yeah, pretty really like substantially large area. Very cool space they built. And that basically wraps this thing up, I think. So they're going to do a little dialogue back and forth. You guys enjoy the dialogue. For sure, I'm loving the story on this one. Hopefully, you guys do as well. If you did enjoy this one, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you got questions or anything. If you want to find me on Twitter, it's Ebontis. I'll be streaming a lot over on Twitch. Uh, dot tv slash ebontis over there but right here on youtube if you are not subscribed which i know many of you aren't please hit that subscribe button and the alert bell helps my videos make it to you nice way to support me and also um if you guys for my patreon subscribers and youtube channel members you guys are the ultra rock stars but all of you are amazing thank you very much